My name is Vetti Omhari and I live at the Guinness Press. I've got two children and um, we are protesting uh, the eviction that the Guinness Trust is carrying on uh, because I've lived in the state for 10 years and, um, and now they want to evict us and they're claiming that um, Lambeth Council can assist families who have children or priority needs, which is not always true. So what is your fear in regards to Lambeth assisting you? Uh, my fear is to, um, when you go to Lambeth Council now they give you two options. One is to find your own accommodation, private, and um, then they will help you with cap housing, housing benefit. The, uh, my worst fear though is to move away from here and go to Boyd in front of me because um, my children go to, to local school. I've got, um, I've built the community here over the 10 years that I've lived here. My friends, my network of uh, support are all here. Can you tell us about the uh, construction outside your house? So construction very near to where you're living. Can you tell us how that's been? They, they, um, they started the work in October by demolishing the building that was there, I mean it was family house. So um, they didn't put no hoarding, they didn't put um, nothing else, they just continued to demolish the building, the dust going through my window. I had to fight them in regards to kind of my BT line, I had to, I had to fight them in regards to not having a fence, my son having my son got asthma and my asthma got worse um, and it's been a battle. You can just imagine what it's like during a holiday period. You can't obviously tell your children to go outside, it's full of diggers. Uh, it's basically a building site. Um, you can't put them inside in hot weather like this, you can't open the window. You are basically forced to think that way, still pay my full rent. Wow. I mean, just standing here speaking to you is horrendous hearing the noise. Can you imagine how I live? And Every the dust, day. and the diggers, and the big heavy machinery. Yeah. And, and I was literally outside my house from the beginning of October to the, to the 26th. What would you like them to do if you had... If, the I, if I had the option, I would like them to, uh, to rehouse us and give us the new flats, not because legal obligation, but moral obligation. One that would be in here paying their rent for 10 years. We lived in a place where it was not livable for a lot of people. We lived in an area where nobody wanted to come to Brixton 10 years ago and live here. And so now they should really rehouse us. And if they can't do that, then they should not force us to live in a building site in, in this state with two children and then tell us to go. So you're saying you would like them to rehouse you in the new blocks that they're making? Yeah. Okay. There's um, social cleansing going on in, obviously in um, the middle class. They want to change who lives here. They would like white middle class to come in here. Uh, that they can commute from here to the city eight, ten minutes on Victoria Line. And then, you know, they can change completely their I think that's the idea is more social cleansing than, than social housing. So how do you see this panning out? I think, I don't Yeah, I'm here. I think, uh, I think they, how we live. Sorry, get some of that. Can you see can you see how they disregard people who live here? That you have heavy vehicles going in and out of here 
You leave your 10 years old to come out and play by themselves. Wow. This is this is the kind of thing Guinness trust. Total disregard the quality of people's lives while they're still collecting rent. They don't care that all this place is full of bins. They don't care that they're caught in and out in here, that there's a dust, that children of a six, holy, six weeks holiday for their safety can be stuck at home, can't open the window. They just don't care. Wow. That's, that's pretty callous. What I, what, what I demand from Lambeth is to insist that Guinness Trust have to be accountable, transparent, and it says that there should be a uh, AST general meeting because there's a, there's a lot of rumours saying that some people are getting new house and some people are not and we all have the same tendency. We also got a petition where we are requesting that none of the AST tenants of Guinness Trust should be evicted and uh, if you want to get an access to that petition it's on our Facebook at Guinness Trust AST tenants.